Good morning or afternoon or whatever it is. You know me. I'm not an early riser, but we've had like a full day already. All right, so let me just put this in a couple of places and then oops, we're good to go. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so the special this month with Arbon because I didn't come on yesterday, is um, the Build for More bundle. So that means that you can create your own whatever, own custom bundle of anything and get 40% off, free shipping, free gifts, the whole nine yards, and you customize it. So you know how we have the 18 piece makeup kit and skincare bundles and um, like the 30 days healthy living, those are all packaged together to give you a discount. At this rate, you can add those and add other products and get 40% off your total order. So it's a build, build your own bundle month. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Meryl. All right, so we're going to do a build your own face bundle today. And if there's something that you guys want to see, just let me know and then I can pull it out. I think I'm going to do a CC cream liquid foundation blend today because we're going up to the lake. Hi, Rach. Hi, Sarah. Um, we're going up to the lake and I want to do something a little dewy, but still effortless, you know. I just find my right shades. How is everybody? Say hi when you hop on. Let me know what's good. All right, we're going to match the overalls today with our blush. So we're going in with Blossom. That's what that means. Brow products. Loving the shakes, Meg. Awesome, Kristen. What blend has been your favorite? Tell me that you tried the, the blueberry one, or did we get you chocolate? The lemon blueberry has to be everybody's favorite. When I pulled the audience on this, everyone's like, the lemon blueberry pound cake is the best. And I can't really say that I blame them because I love it too. Some bronzer and let's just be clean today which sounds like a weird thing to say but let's just do that we're just gonna do a nice clean hi Kelly nice clean look magnolia peach uh, we're gonna go a little corally on the lip because I'm wearing orange strawberry banana spinach all the way Ooh. See, and you can't taste the spinach. Tell me if you can taste the spinach because so many people tell me they're like, no way, there's no way that you can put spinach in a shake and not taste it. I was like, I literally mound that crap in and you cannot taste it. Hi, Sharon, how are you? I probably put two heaping handfuls of spinach in every time I do my shake and I don't taste it. Unless you have like bad spinach, then you'll taste it. Otherwise you're good, you're golden. All right, let me just get my brushes out so I don't have to spend half the video looking for them because there's nothing more frustrating to me than when I do that to you. Okay, let's go in with makeup primer. Um, this comes in the 18-piece makeup kit, but this month you don't need the 18-piece makeup kit because we can make your own kit with whatever you want in it. So I'm going in with makeup primer. It doses itself. It's on the free gift list also, so we can make you a full makeup bundle, and then we can throw your primer on as a freebie because Arbon is good like that. They love you back, as they say. All right, put that everywhere, eyelids, lips, and then if you have some left over on your face, just run through your hair, make sure your hair is super glossy and lovely. Little tip from me to you, it's like a finishing polish. And then you don't waste anything, because you know how I feel about wasting product. Hi, Sonia. Made an Arbon. Almond butter, mixed berry vanilla shake today, bomb. Oh my God, I love, you know, it's funny because I thought I was going to be a chocolate person all the way, but taking the vanilla and doctoring it up with things. I also love, I make pina colada ones for the kids. So frozen pineapple and mango chunks um, and then coconut milk and the almond is to die for and cashew butter in that one. You cannot, I make yogurt shakes for the boys and put spinach in there so they have no clue. Exactly. Good morning, Sonia. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Brandy. Um, the pina colada one, I'll do that this week. I just need to get more frozen pineapple because I ran out. Um, but the pina colada is 
next level. Um, you can also add a banana in there. I do that one for the kids all the time. It's super tropical and dreamy and they have no idea that they're eating something good. They think it's dessert. And I'm not about to educate them that it's not dessert. <laughs> All right, so I'm going in with two foundation products today. Why? Because they do different things. I'm going with CC Cream in the shade Medium. This has an SPF 30. Um, it's a tinted moisturizer. It is hydrating for your skin. It looks really glowy and dewy. And then I'm gonna go, because this is light to medium coverage, I'm gonna add a half a pump of my Soft Blush Liquid Foundation, which also has SPF 15 in it. Why? Because this is medium to full coverage. It's gonna give me a more fuller coverage look, but still glowy and dewy. The Pina Colada sounds amazing. Joanne, it's so good. It's so, so good. So a little bit of CC cream. And when I say a little bit, I mean a very little bit. That's it. Um, we also do one with the chocolate. That is, so that's the liquid foundation. We also do a chocolate, which is half a banana, frozen strawberries, chocolate protein, and almond butter. And obviously I add spinach to that too, but that one tastes like a ice cream sundae, like a legitimate banana split. That's Justin's ultimate go-to. It's so good. All right, so the reason I mix it on the back of my hand for two reasons, it allows me to mix the products together and it um, allows me to place it on my skin so I don't put too much product in one place. Whenever I watch people take their foundation and like drip it all over their face, they're just putting too much on and that's product waste to me. And to be very honest with you, I could call it a bunch of different things, but I'm cheap and I do not like to see my product go on a washcloth because I put too much on. So I don't do that. All right, so I have in my hand a clean eco tool sponge. I just wash it with hot water and hand soap so that it's got a little bit of dampness in it. And then I'm gonna go in and just stamp out this foundation. Um, the nice thing about having this a little bit damp is it also makes it really soft. So it makes everything blend out a little bit easier. These sponges are actually a little bit hard if, I mean, not hard, hard, but they're not super soft when they don't have any moisture in them. So when you add the moisture, it makes them really, really easy to blend. Hi, Zanilia. Blending this. Hi, Alyssa. And look at that coverage, still full coverage, but it's glowy and dewy. Like you can see on my skin that there is a fair amount of like freshness. It doesn't look really, really matte because of that CC cream. I'm a person who doesn't love a matte finish unless I'm going for something highly dramatic um, during the day, just like my regular life. I like a little bit of glow in my skin. I think it's, um, I don't know doesn't age you quite as harshly as a matte finish does. Hi, Charlene. All right, so I'm now gonna go in with our Redness Rescue Mattifying Powder, and I'm going to set my face with that. And I'm just gonna use this Morphe brush. This is an M446. So this powder has a little bit of a green tint to it. So if you have any redness in your skin or anything like that, it's gonna cancel it out so that your skin looks more of a base neutral. So if you have acne or eczema or just a sunburn, red pigmentation of any kind, it's really gonna help to minimize it. And it's also great if you have super oily skin because it's a mattifying powder and it just really does help to absorb that extra oil. So great for your T-zone. Okay, I'm gonna get these out of my way so I know what I've already done. Let us go in now with, we're gonna do brows. I'm kind of going out of order because I wanna do my highlight and contour after I do my eyes. I'm gonna go in with my two favorite brow products, the Brow Pencil and the Brow Cream. Two different reasons for loving these. Um, somebody asked me the other day what my three favorite Arbonne products was, and it was a very hard question to answer. But in makeup, my three favorite products are our CC cream and our two brow products. 
because they do not give you a fake looking eyebrow. I was actually just reminiscing through old photos on Time Hop the other day of my brows last year and the year before, and they just looked a little bit phony, and I am all about a natural brow. So I'm going in with the brow pencil in the shade light, and I'm gonna take the spoolie on the end and just brush my brows up. And then I'm gonna start on the inside bottom corner, very inside corner, and draw a line from the front to the back, just like that, and fill in. And then I'm gonna move on the upper brow, upper part of my brow, and I'm move in slightly and start drawing. And I just grab the little, like the lighter baby hairs that exist just above the thickness of your brow. And I incorporate those. It gives me an eye, a higher arch. And it, I don't know, just fills up my brow better. And then in the front, I very lightly blend in. And then I'm gonna take the spoolie and just brush everybody up. Hi, Rachel, hi, Chelsea. And it just fills out your brows in such a natural way. We're gonna to get to the brow cream. I'm just gonna do this brow next. The brow cream gives you like a microbladed appearance. So after you've filled your brows in and they look fuller and darker and shape your face, the brow cream comes in to set your brows in place all day long. It adds a little bit of extra pigment and it um, gives you like a microbladed appearance by taking each brow that you have on and amplifying it sort of like how mascara does for your lashes. Hi, Tracy. And blending up. One of my favorite products. Agree. Agree, agree. I had... Up until I started using Arbon, I was using a brow palette and it was really challenging for me to get my brows on and have them look natural. In fact, like most people think like you have to just keep putting things on to make them look heavy. It would go on so heavy that I would have to spend more time dialing it back than anything else. Hi, Tara. So that's why I like this. If you want a very defined brow, oops, I don't know what happened there. If you want a very defined brow, you can achieve it, but you don't have to fight with it, I guess is a good thing to put it. All right, so I'm going in with our brow cream. This is in the shade light medium. We also have a medium dark. I use both of them, but for like a really natural kind of look, I do go with the light medium. And you just kind of brush it on your brow like a mascara. And if you have long brows that are sort of unruly and they stick out all over the place, this is gonna keep them in place all day long. It adds a little bit of polish to them and it also just magnifies each brow. So you get a little tint, but each brow shows up. So it doesn't look like you just drew on your face with a marker, the end. All right, we're going to do our eyes now and then we're gonna finish with contour, which is usually not the way I do my makeup. So if I forget a product, you're just gonna to have to give me a mulligan on this one because it's very possible that I will. All right, I'm going to go in with the It's All in the Eyes Volume One palette. This is like our super neutrals. Hi, Alexandra. Um, and I'm just gonna go in with like sort of a warm, shade today i'm going to go use clove red rock and caraway these three right here to match my overalls all right so i'm going to go in with the shade caraway this sort of like taupey tan right here and i'm going to blend that all over my lid just like that Now I have had this palette since January. These palettes are really well pigmented, so you don't need very much product at all, and they're gonna last you a long time. Okay, and now we're gonna go in with the shade Clove. I said I wasn't gonna go hunting for things, but here I am. All right, I'm gonna go in with the shade Clove, which is like sort of an orangey brown a ginger snap color. And I'm going to 
just kind of blend it into my crease as like a transition shade. And I'm going to also put it on my lower lash line. Kind of a daytime smoky eye, if you will. Hi, Mina. Mina is incontinent, guys. That is the newest 411 from the vet. Is that she has urinary incontinence from her urinary tract infection. So... That's fun. If anyone has experienced that with a three-year-old dog, please let me know because it's not fun. What brushes do you use? Are they all the same brand? They are all Arbonne. Um, I do have some Morphe brushes. I shouldn't say that, but I do have most of mine. I switched over to the Arbonne ones. Um, I have a couple random like Real Techniques. Um, my Super Powder brush is Real Techniques. I use this Expert Face Brush sometimes for my contour. I have a random one. <clears throat> I like this for my highlight, this Morphe 448. And I have one that I use for concealer. That is, I don't even know where it is, but that's like a, I got as a free gift from Sephora probably five years ago or Clinique or something like that. All right, I'm gonna go in with the shade Clove. No, I lied, Red Rock. And just kind of blend this out. So I always tap this off. This just gets a little bit of the extra powder off of your brush. And we're gonna blend in my crease. Don't worry, it looks crazy right now. Stay tuned, we're not done. I'm kind of messy with my eyeshadow actually. All right, I'm grabbing a big fluffy brush that has nothing on it and I'm just gonna blend out the corner here and it's all gonna make sense when I do my concealer. Hi, Peg. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of light concealer to the back of my hand, just like this. And we are gonna sculpt out our brows using, um, this is a cream shadow brush. I like it because it's smaller than using a concealer brush. And I just pack a little bit on here and then I go underneath my brows. This sculpts out your brows. So this is also a little tip if you kind of need to magic erase your eyebrows because you drew them in too heavy or they just look a little aggressive to you, just go in with a dab of concealer on the top and on the bottom. You can also use this to do like a cut crease. Why don't we do that? We're going to do like a little bit of a cut crease today. because I have it on my hand and we know I don't want to wipe it away. This is how a makeup video goes sideways. 101. Get distracted by concealer. Take a left turn at eyeshadow. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the shade Desert, this one right here, sort of like a champagne color. And I'm just gonna pop that on the inside corner of my eyes where we did the cut crease. And it's gonna brighten it right up and sort of give me like a glowy looking eye. And I do that with my finger. It just helps me blend it out easy. Especially with metallics, using your eye is going to be a really good way of keeping it concentrated where you want, but also the moisture from your hand and the heat of your body gets that metallic color like on point. It's a crazy world we live in, but it's true. 
just going to blend that into my crease a little bit and we'll leave it. All right, going in with mascara, Speaks Volume is my love child. Um, if you are looking for a hypoallergenic eye uh, mascara, this is it. Um, makes your lashes super fluffy and long and adds a ton of volume to them, but it doesn't give you that like unilash, you know, the one where all your lashes end up coming to like three different points on your eye because it's stuck all together and you have to go in with a spoolie and unstick them and it's just really frustrating. Yeah, we don't want that. So we are going to go in with the Speaks Volume. I do a good heavy first coat and then I go in with a second coat and that really just makes your lashes jump off and look extra full. Grab those little baby lashes on the inside corner. It's gonna give you a fuller appearance and just open your eye up. So second coat gets a second dip. And when I do my second coat, I kind of hold my wand right at the base of my lashes for a second. And that is going to make your lashes sort of stand up a little bit more because I don't curl my lashes with a traditional uh, lash curler. And we're gonna take what we have left over on the wand and do our lower lashes. It's weird to do this without having done my concealer yet, but we're gonna get there. Okay, concealer time. Actually, let's do bronzer first. Going in with Glow On Bronzer. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, this is one of my favorite bronzers for a number of reasons, but because it doesn't show up red or orange on my skin. So I'm just gonna feel for my cheekbone, which is the top of your ear down towards the corner of your mouth. And I'm gonna be able to be a little bit sloppy if I want to with my bronzer doing it this way because I'm still going to go in with my concealer and brighten my under eye. Forehead. Jawline. Don't forget the jawline. My goodness. And I blend it right down my neck so that I don't have that situation where your face doesn't match the rest of your body. And don't blend down the center of your neck, high court. Um, just blend down the sides. It's going to also slim your neck out. Hi, Tara. All right, and then I'm going to go on the sides of my nose. I just take that same brush that I had and I pinch it a little bit and go right down the edges of my nose. And that also kind of slims my nose out. So here is my favorite part of doing my makeup, is going in with my loose powder in the shade Ivory. And I like personally a powder highlight because I feel like a cream highlight has a higher likelihood of settling on me personally. So I'm just gonna go in with the short side of my Eco Tool sponge and pop that ivory right underneath my eye. And it's gonna help cut my eyeshadow because I went a little wild with it, like we discussed. But this powder is so silky when it hits your skin. It literally just melts right into your skin. Hi, Crystal. And I did it last so that I could be sloppy with my eyeshadow. I could go bananas with my bronzer. And then I can just cut it back. Hi, Alyssa. All right, 
chin, jawline, right above where we contoured here and right below where we contoured on our cheek. That's going to just make it look nice and clean and sharp, not muddy. See what I mean? Right down the center of my nose and on my forehead. The beauty of using a powder to do this also is that it's further setting your makeup. Whereas with a cream or a liquid concealer, and I know everybody loves shape tape. I personally don't. It's way, way, way too heavy for me. And it's great pigment, but it's just too heavy for my under eye. I'm telling you, I'm a delicate peach and I can't handle it. I was just built more sensitively than that. It just, it shows off your contour so good. This is highlighting contouring at its finest. It literally can change the shape of your face. People don't know that we're shape shifters until we do this. You know what I'm saying? All right, I am going to go in with a little bit of blush in the shade Blossom and just dust this on my cheek. I start towards the middle of my cheekbone and blend back towards my ear um, because I always go too far in and then I make the center of my face look muddy, which I've really tried hard to get away from doing. But just find that apple of your cheek and blend back. Okay. Blend that in a little bit more. That sponge. Okay. Now we are going to go in with, I want a little bit of a highlight. So let's go in with, I'm gonna go back to this palette that I used and I'm just gonna take that shade Desert, which is what I used on the inside corner of my eye. And I'm gonna put a little dab right here on the end of my nose, right here on the bridge of my nose and right here on my cupid's bow. Why not? We're already here. We've already popped our dessert cherry or desert, whatever it's called. I'm gonna put a little here. Let's get wild. It's a Sunday with the family. Okay, so last but not least, my favorite part is lips. I'm gonna use peach lip liner. I'm gonna use Magnolia lipstick and then I'm going to go over everything with Mimosa lip gloss. I know it looks neon orange. Do not be afraid. This is one of my favorite shades ever. It has such a great curly look. I love it in spring. I love it in summer. I think I love it best in fall when you just want like a little bit of freshness and you're starting to wear like burgundy and camel and all of that kind of stuff again, but you still, you don't want to go like gothic lip. All right, so we're going in with peach lip liner and I do overline my lips just a little bit in the center. One, two, three. And then I tailor it up on the corner. Like that. And it just, it perfects the shape of your lip. It gives me a little bit of extra poof and I am all about the poof. I'm going in with Magnolia lipstick. Super awesome nude. I still have a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand from when we carved out my brows. So I'm going to pop that right in the center and we're going to have, you know, sex worker lips. It's fine. This is what we came here for. All right, let that dry a second. The key to getting your lip to stay all day is don't put too much product on. Let it dry in between. Let it dry in between products. All right, so now Mimosa, my girl Mimosa.
Would you look at that? Oh, I love this color. Where is this hair coming from? Sex worker lips, I'm dead. That's it. It's our favorite. I mean, I just, I'm here for a statement. And, you know, I used to go level 100 with my eyes all the time. And then I felt like I just looked, I don't know, I, I looked a little haggard. So then I started to try to figure out what was going to give me a little bit more youthful bang for my buck. And I really love a simple eye, a clean complexion, and a bold or sex worker lip. That's what we're going for. I'm going to go in with Let It Set Refreshing Spray. It seals all your makeup in for the day. It gives you a glowy look, but it doesn't irritate my eyes, which, hi, everything irritates my eyes. My children even irritate my eyes. I watched Armageddon last night. That was a bad idea. Watching anything in which a father and a daughter have a beautiful bond will just simply make you a puddle of humanity. And then at the end where Harry Stamper says to AJ, your job is to take care of my little girl. I look over and Justin's melting into a, a puddle of his own feelings. And um, yeah, so that that's what we do here now. We just make sex worker lips and um, cry at movies. That's our life now. Welcome to Shea Barkovich. Bring your own tissues and be ready to cry about it. All right, it's humid AF here, so I'm just trying to work with the bird's nest. Throw some big sexy curls in it that I can work with. Try not to look like Shirley Temple at the end of all of it with my overalls. I'm such a con walking contradiction. I'm gonna wear Birkenstocks. We're going up to the lake to celebrate my mom's birthday. I'm gonna have overalls and Birkenstocks on, sex worker lips, um, you know, vintage looking frizzy hair. It's gonna be a look, L-E-W-K, a real look. So this week is a crazy week. Chase has oral surgery on Wednesday. He's having four teeth taken out. And I don't know what that is going to entail in terms of level of insanity around here. I'm expecting it's going to be off the charts because Chase feels everything very deeply. And I imagine that having four teeth taken out is not going to tickle. So, um... If you don't see me, just shoot me a message and do a pulse check on me to make sure that I don't need like a tequila refill or an extra box of fizz sticks, though I did stock up on the fizz sticks. But that is what is going on here this week at Shea Barkovich. All right, I have to go to the dog's food store and get Mina her new prescription dog food. Um, I will take a picture of this and I'll list the products that I used. If you guys wanna create your own custom makeup kit, just shoot me over a message and I can get you all color matched and give you recommendations based on your particular skin type and tone and your goals and what you like and what you don't like. And then we can get it all 40% off, free shipping, free gifts. Um, but I am taking off, I love you guys, and I will see you back here tomorrow.